Good morning, my people. You know, it's another glorious day, and you're now rocking with the best. The people's champ, Uncle Drums. The people's champ, the voice of the South. I'm here, it's another glorious one. And right now, we are going to get into, without no further delay, the voice of the great Bruce Lee. Words of wisdom, let's go for it. Often time people come up and say, hey Bruce, are you really that good? I said, well, if I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> All right, going back to being truthful with you. Let's just put it this way. I have no fear of opponent in front of me. That I am very self-sufficient. That they do not bother me. And that should I fight, should I do anything, I have made up my mind and that's it, baby. You better kill me before. Martial art has a very, very deep meaning as far as my life is concerned because uh, as an actor, as a martial artist, as a human being, all these I have learned from martial art. Martial art include all the combative arts like karate, aikido, judo, Chinese kung fu or Chinese boxing, whatever you call it, uh, all those. It's a competitive form of fighting. I mean, it's not... Some of them became sport, but some of them are still not. I mean, they use, for instance, kicking to the groin, jabbing fingers at the eyes and things like that. To me, uh, at least the way that... When, I mean, when I teach it, all type of knowledge ultimately means self-knowledge. So therefore, they are coming in to, I mean, for, uh, and ask me to teach them not so much of how to defend themselves or how to do somebody in. Rather, they want to learn to express themselves through some movement, be it anger, be it uh, determination, or whatsoever. So in other words, what I'm saying, therefore, is that he is paying me to show him in combative form the art of expressing the human body. Kick me. Kick me. You are very much in control of the movement. By too much control, therefore, you are kind of a, a, a concern about the execution. What was that? An exhibition? We need emotional content. Try again. I said emotional content, not anger. Now try again, with me. And now right now I'm telling you to, you know, really just forget about it, just do it. Now boom, you see, right on the target. When you just ease the burden of your mind, you just do it. That's it. That is to me the most important thing, and that is how can I, in the process of learning how to use my body, to understand myself? You see, actually, I do not teach, you know, karate because I do not believe in styles anymore. I mean, I do not believe that there is such thing as, like, Chinese way of fighting or the, or the Japanese way of fighting or whatever way of fighting because unless human beings have three arms and four legs, we will have a different form of fighting. Unless we have other group of being on Earth, that are structurally different from us, then there might be a different style of fighting. Now, why is that? Because we have two hands and two legs now. The important thing is how can we use it to the maximum in terms of path, well, straight line, curved line, huh? uh, uh, round lines, they might be slow, but depending on the circumstances, sometimes that might not be slow. 
And in terms of legs, you can kick up straight. Same thing, right? And after all that, then you ask yourself, how can you honestly express yourself at that moment? Really, to me, okay, to me, ultimately, martial art means honestly expressing yourself. Now, it is very difficult to do, okay? I mean, it, it is easy for me to put on a show and be cocky and be flooded with a cocky feeling and then feel like pretty cool and all that. Or I can f make all kinds of phony things, you see what I mean? Blinded by it. Or I can show you some f really fancy movement. But to express oneself honestly, not lying to oneself, and to express myself honestly, you know, that, my friend, is very hard to do and you have to train you have to keep your reflexes so that when you want it it's there when you want to move you're moving and when you move you are determined to move not taking one inch not anything less than that if i want to punch i'm gonna do it man and i'm gonna do it you see so i mean so that is the type of thing you have to train yourself into it to become one with the punch now i'm leaning forward a little bit yeah. hoping not to hurt any camera angle yeah. I mean, you got to put the whole hip into it and snap it and get all your energy in there and make this into a weapon.